Hey, can you stop with all that whistling out there? What? You're supposed to come follow the whistling. And why would I do something so dumb like that? Well, uh, that's just how this goes. You're supposed to hear the whistling and you're supposed to go investigate. Uh, no. That's how you die in a scary movie. I am not going to go investigate anything. So stop all that whistling! I'm sorry. Dang, I'm just trying to watch the tower in peace and you just gotta... <laughs> like, what are you, cat? Is that cat calling? Is Are you cat calling me now? Aw, oh, man. You know what? 2023 is weird, bro. I'm telling you, all y'all hey, are hey, weirdos. Hey, I said I was sorry. I'm tired. I said I was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another video. No, no, that's that's not my intro. What the heck? What's my intro? <laughs> I forgot. Huh? <laughs> welcome back to another. No. What the heck? I actually forgot my intro. Nah, that's wild. Welcome to the land of gaming. Today we are playing Fears of Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. I think we'll be like a a security guard in a tower in the middle of the woods. Turn up my volume. Hopefully you guys got your volume up. Cause this is about to be wild. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anybody about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing but i feel like doing so might help me process my memories a bit i knew that sharing this story anywhere would be a dumb idea because people would say i was lying as i'm writing this this was the scariest experience of my life oh so scary spooky i'm not that scared I'm terrified. Oh, we're, we're Jack Nelson? Okay, Jack Nelson. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with lots of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. I'm so sorry, Nelson, that I gave you a female's voice. That's just how we do in this video today, so. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience, so me, so me the- Sorry for my, uh... Hey, you're actually in an RV. Oh, to drive. Wow, I get to drive for the first time. Kayla, stop texting me. I'm whipping this boy. Yeah! Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Oh, this must be like my boss or something. Just reached to you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on, welcome on aboard. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts on 12th, on the 12th. Okay, this is just boring talk. New regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. That's not actually a bad job, honestly. 25 miles per hour. Guys, I know how to drive 25 miles per hour. The rush! I feel the rush! Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Kayla. Driving. No texting and driving, kids. Remember there's this diner while passing Roseboard? They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a meal before the staff thing starts. Thank you, Kay. I mean, I guess I am a little hungry. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, tell them how it is. Let me hop on the beat with you. I'm the, I'm the background beat. Thank you. Yeah, okay, about to go eat dinner at a diner, about to eat some good burgers, maybe eat it with some fries, I don't know, I don't know, I need some gas too, but I don't know. Oh, I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. STOP THE car! Can I check out this? I thought that was a Ouija board, I was about to be like, it's over. Dang, it's dark back here. I mean, turn the lights on. I mean, have a lamp. That's not a bad spot, though. I would actually stay in something like this. Maybe with, like, somebody, because I don't want to stay in here by myself. 
kind of scary. Got a nice fridge, got a stove. I've never been in an RV like this, and it just seems like it'll be like a cool living spot just for a minute. Hello, you commoners. Purina has entered the diner. <laughs> oh, are you are you gonna creep me to my table? I'm ready. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Thank you. <laughs> She's so polite. I can take any seat though. Like actually. Girl, where are you going with that food? Good evening. I'm Barbara. Barbara! Alright, we're gonna give you a Barbara voice. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Uh, yeah, I'm ready to order. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries? Grilled chicken cheese sandwich with onion rings? Meatball sub chicken nuggets? Okay, I, let me calm down, y'all. I don't know where I got grilled cheese chicken. <laughs> Um, obviously a cheeseburger. Uh, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Strawberry slush. I don't like coffee. I was never a coffee fan since the day I was born. Perfect. Anything else? Uh, can I order anything else? I'm like a little hungry. That will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring you the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. Wow, this is a, I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. You know what, that's kind of true, IRL. That's a very true thing. But I, I usually don't have to always go to the bathroom. I just do that to like pass time so I can do something instead of sitting down 24 seven. How do I pee? <laughs> oh! Yo, Nelson, you peeing all over, oh my goodness. Yo, Farina standing up peeing, bro, <laughs> this is wild. Yo, I can aim this boy? Oh! All right. I don't know why you would bring a shovel in here. This is just completely weird. My burger fries. Oh. 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 oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. What should we start off with first? This look delicious. Uh, obviously, knowing me, I like to take a bit of the fries a little bit. Yeah. Oh. So good. Only if Neverlet was here. Too bad he's missing out. And I found me a new vacation job. <sighs> what do you want, Gamer? So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Yeah, Kayla, thank you for hooking us up. This is delicious. She the plug for real. I told you. <laughs> this food reminds me. You know, she... What? This food, this food reminds me you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine and the new lookout. Wow, yes. I'm on my... Barbara, I was, t I was reading text. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Thank you, Barbara. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? I could, I could go for it, like a, a cake. A slice of cake take out. No. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. What? What if I just leave? Here's the check. Your total is seven dollars and sixty cents. Hey, you know what, Barbara? Just because you had perfect service. 50% tip. Thank you for the generous tip. Of course. I'm a rich girl, you know, and I'm very famous. 
Barbara was talking to you. Gracias, amigo. Yo, what's up, bro? Please leave me alone. Okay. How are you? You look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at the nearest state park. Yeah. Ah, it's great. I didn't know these jobs still exist. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big fir uh, firm downtown. That's supposed to say farm? Or it actually is firm downtown. Big firm. Okay. That sounds uh, interesting. Uh, do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy. That's for sure. It's not like my dad. Ma Barbara, get move! Long, long way of driving, huh? I'm headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? Just down the road. Or I'm a staffer of the Iron Bark State Park. So, so it true. So is it true? Wait, what? Whatever they say happens to those kids the other day. Kids? What? I need to go. My music still playing? And did I leave the car door open? I don't even remember. Hi. Is it good? Oh! I'm actually stuck. There's no way. How? Oh my goodness! I actually got it out. I was I was actually about to restart and everything. Guys, let's just chill for a bit. Let's calm down. Let's enjoy the music and the breeze. I'm walking only got no home. The music is so nice. 8.02 AM? Wait, did I read that right? 8.02 AM? I, I, I wasn't looking. Or PM, PM, it's probably PM, PM. Not AM, obviously. I want to include the location of this park. I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in this woods. What? This is my stop. The shadows got me spooked. Come on, get up! Closed it this time. I hope nobody's in my van. Oh shoot! Oh! He got a whole shotty, buddy, buddy. Holy moly! You scared me. I thought you were one of them. I thought you were, uh, what is his name from The Walking Dead? Rick. Hey, you look like Rick from The Walking Dead. You scared me! What are you talking about? May Lord have mercy. <laughs> Say that again. Anyways, I can see your permit, please. Uh, can I see your permit, please? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm... Uh, oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transfer fire lookout. What the? Right there, you see that? Who was that? Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. I just skipped it so fast. I am so sorry. Yeah, close that just in case. There's some. Hey, buddy, there is somebody out there. Okay, pal. You are good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Yep, I got that text. Apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would have left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Gracias, amigo. Let me open up the trail gates for you. Okay. Hey, can you can you walk with me? Is 
since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Bill. His name is Billy? Ah, your embarrassment. I'm sorry. <laughs> you be careful. Take this. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. I get it, I get it. He'll be your closest contact in case... Okay, so we'll have a, 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 a buddy. Thank you again, Billy. No, I, I don't need nothing. I'm sorry. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. You got it. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. See you around. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Man, what type of flashlight is this? I left my bag in the RV at first. Oh. Grab my bag. Oh, let me close this. Yeah, y'all thought. There was a dude out here, and he was walking in the woods. If I get jump scared, bro, again? Because that one, Billy, that was lethal. Oh, no. Keep going. I'm not... Keep going. There's just no way. I heard that. He said half a mile. A mile is... Walking a mile is not really long, but it's... It's a good walk. In the, in the dark, especially? Oh, no. 11.32 p.m. Okay, so it was 8 p.m. before. It was a long hike in it. I was starting to feel tired, I guess. That's what he said. Oh, there's someone behind me. Just keep running, just keep running. Um. Lacey Trail, three point. What if I, I actually really want to test that theory to go that way? Gold Creek Trail. Let's, it, it's this way, right? Tower, okay, let's be for real. Let's not do anything stupid. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Is it not? Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Ah, you know what? That makes sense. But I've always had a fondness. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. So I did. I'm home. Hello, world. It's not so bad here. Forgot to turn the generator. Where's the generator? Is it outside? It would be safe to say to always keep the generator up here. Like, I would have literally almost everything up in the tower. And saying something like this... This job is not so easy, you know, it's not for everyone. Guys, imagine you get a job like this. It's pretty, it's pretty fun, I guess, but... Being out here, like he said, being out here on a week's end is not such a glamorous thing. And yeah, I, I understand that more than anything, honestly. And knowing me, I I am a very sensitive person, so like, I would barely want to come down from my tower. How I would make sure myself is safe, and to make sure like nobody's gonna come up the stairs, I would honestly grab like like some like supply like barricade supplies, put it right here, and like I don't know make have like a noise thing, and so if someone's trying to get up here or an animal, I can know when to come out or like what if I open a bear door and a bear is just there. Alright, hey, let's check out the place. We got a nice kitchen, you know, we got a little cabinet area, we got a little iron bark map. Little computer we can play some computer games. Yo, we chillin'. Ain't nothing wrong. We vibing. We vibing guys. Radio requirements was sitting on a wooden table. Iron Bark State Park. If you're watching this- Yo! 
I already instantly knew who this voice was. Jacksepticeye! Yeah, this is him. It's obvious. This video, him. then let me be the first to say, congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Oh, really? Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We oh. hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I'm a hard-working person. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. All right. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society so require sciences. us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Okay. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Uh, okay. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. Unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Give me a gun and I'll be good. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. I don't need 911. I got my Glock Hydro 99. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Yes. Thank you, Jack. What the heck? Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross. Yeah, that's that terrifies me. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. Bro, think he's Corey Kenshin. Oh. You guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Um... Connor, Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Oh, uh, thought I was going to be alone out here? You were watching? That's the job. We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh, sorry. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Um, just looking for a change. What? I'm a transfer from Iron An experienced comrade. See why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Exit out of here. I don't see the smoke. Okay, let me Connor! Let me do that. Let me do my job. I got my thermometer. I hope nobody kills me tonight. Hi, hi, hi. I hope no one kills me tonight. How do I crush the Oh, what the? Oh, oh! Is it? Oh, is it? I got. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Connor. 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 I have bad news. Connor, bro. See the smoke. You scared me. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Uh, no. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to you it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Uh, yes, you don't I... want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Who's Mitch? Oh, the guy I was texting. I'm not. I'm not gonna make him upset. Calm down. It ain't that serious. Connor, not that serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
is a game? Oh! Oh! Oh, reloading! I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3! Get off me! Ugh! Ugh! Oh, yeah. Reloading! Come on through! Come on through! Is it... It's not missed. Is it clear? Sure. Yeah. You copy, new guy? Uh... Tower 11 copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. You too. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, okay, Connor. So, do I go to bed? I don't sleep with the lights on, I'm sorry. Well, yes I do. I'm a scaredy cat. I sleep with the computer light on. Me, 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 me. 3.26 a.m. Unintangible. Unintelligible. What? What's the matter? Connor? I had to pee. I just realized there's no bathroom up here. Space to pee? Oh, okay. Hey! <laughs> I I'm so sorry, grasshoppers. Hey, you just gonna have to take it. Get my lights out. Night two. What is this? Five nights at Freddy's? It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. Oh, yeah. Drink that coffee. I like how <laughs> we're just like standing off into the distance, like we're just like. Our, our eyes squinched. Huh. This this is life, honestly. I wish it could be daytime every day. Sip the last of my hot chocolate, because I don't drink coffee. It was such a perfect day. Copy? Yeah. This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? I'm here. No way shut my door at all costs. Tower 11, do you copy? I'm here. Son of a bitch. What? Excuse Your me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. W what do you want? Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Where's no Oh, I see it as soon as I turn around. Uh. Connor, I had nice music going on, and you ruined it by saying gosh darn it and swearing in my ear. Yep. That's far. That seems like it's behind a hill. What the heck? There's no way. I said I... Yeah, I it see it. to be in the Lacey Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. The fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. Bro, that thing looks like the fire looks like it's behind a hill. That seems way too far. What time is it? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Do you have any other details? No additional information. Just follow Lacey Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Can you come with me? Stay safe out there. Oh. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. What is it? Does bear spray even work? <laughs> like, like a little bit of spray is gone. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably like they don't like it. But I'm, I'm definitely sure that a, a bear would not 
care whatsoever. I keep that flash on me. Heading out. Okay, I'm going down there, Connor. I hope I'm going the right way. Lacey Trail? That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Time skip? Let's go. 8.37 p.m.? I'm pretty sure it's dark. It's dark. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Connor! I need a radio. I love Jen. Hey, Jen does not love you. Hello? Kayla! Oh my goodness, Kayla! Blowing up my phone. there show yourself right now show yourself come out I'd be yelling like really loud I'd be like come out right now put your hands on I got a gun I had to get water oh is that a boat <sighs> okay. I have a gun I, I actually have a gun. Please don't hurt me. Is it out? Okay. <gasps> That's my bear spray. Okay, I'm not gonna stay out here for any longer. It's time to head back. R.I.P. Jen. Hey! Hey! Ah! 9.07 p.m. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Yeah, what, what would have happened if I stayed there any longer? So many questions that needs answering. And my game crashed. Okay. All right, guys. We're back. I'm serious. This pepper, this bear spray, it hit like a, like a, a punch, a really hard punch. Yo, I don't have blinds. I thought I did before. What the heck? Drop. Kind of do you copy? Hey, Connor. Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a. Can you stop with the swearing, Connor? They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Calm down. I ain't even that serious. This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? I mentioned screen. scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. That that wasn't a lady, Brody. <laughs> that was a man. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Uh, kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. What? People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. I heard whistling, and I'm glad I did not go over there to the whistling. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Okay. 
Okay. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. That's unsettling. You guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, obviously not. <laughs> I can't seem crazy in front anyway, of this guy. Thanks for staying vigilant. But hey, I I'm believe it. I believe the rumors. So they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Goons is a, a big word for you. Them. I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Dang. Okay. What are you, gangster? <laughs> Calling them goons and then promising that they'll never step foot in the forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. Bro is a little wild. Oh, Kayla, I forgot to read your message. I am. S oh. Okay. I'm so jelly of of that view. Oh, I sent her my pictures. A hey. pizza pasta bake. I love pizza! Pepperoni, oh my gosh! Yo, I love you, Kayla! You're like, my, you're the best character so far in this game. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom, hit <laughs> Is this washed at this point? I was starving. Okay, so... Time to make some. Good. I am so sorry. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I done made a mess. Uh oh. This is me when I. This is like literally me when I'm like. When I used to be cooking food when I was like 12 for the first time trying to cook something. Hey guys, you there? Yeah? Why? Hey guys, you copy? Bro, if you ask me for another fire. You're crazy. Oh, what is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Good job, I guess. Hope they can track them down and get some peace of their mind. Okay, you didn't have to tell me that. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting Better to get to it. They didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Show you what I know it's been a tough day. Job up there. Ah, <sighs> my pleasure. Over twelve, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Let me uh, do my report real quick. Twenty knots today. Twenty knots today. Okay. Let's put that in the box really quick. Where's my name? Farina. <laughs> I could eat while playing Call of Duty again. I like eating in bed. Okay. I could have been watching some anime on the PC. Come on. I couldn't get. It was getting cold, though. I, I'd get wood. Okay, I gotta get more wood. Dang it! La di di di, la di di da, la di di da, la di da da. No one, please come and kill me. I don't want to die. Oh, I forgot. All right. Hey, Connor, I'm about to call you and tell you I'm signing off for the night. Okay. I don't have to call you then. But I could play me a little bit of Call of Duty, though. Oh, you want some? Come on, suck. I continue right where I started. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Ah! Me, 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 me. 2.27 a.m. What the? Oh! Hey! Get out! Hello? Get up. Oh! There was something very strange about that night. I can hide. Go! Are they trying to get in? I 
I should have grabbed the knife from the table. I hear footsteps. Is everything good? I I'm safe, right? Connor! Probably not the best choice, is it? It's the dumbest thing. All I can think about is calling Connor. Connor! Why? Oh! I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Oh! The just, that logical thing I could do is contact Connor. That's the first thing I would have done before opening up the opening the door. Connor, do you copy? Connor? Connor, copy! Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, yeah, duh. You couldn't wait until morning? No, it couldn't. Obviously, if I'm calling you in the midst of the night. <sighs> Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. What? Marley got tired of. You want me to ignore what? I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. That is the dumbest thing ever in the middle of nowhere. This feels like a some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Exactly! Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. I we can't do it'll be morning before you know it. Connor, I wanna go home now. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Forget your over and out. I'm exiting. Connor didn't make any sense. Can I, can I leave my computer light on? Yeah. I like when my computer light is on. My only night light. Night three, yeah, this is Five Nights at Freddy's for sure. Five nights in a tower. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. This is based off of a real story. I occupied most of the day either with a simple maintenance or, or scanning the destinies of the trees. Okay. So dirty. Clean off your lenses. Oh, I can actually clean it. Need to get all that off. Oh, that scared me. What the heck? Did you, did you hijack Connor's thing? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, this is Jack, Tower uh, 11. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Stupid. I think... I think I'm lost. Stupid. Can you describe your... You no. Know, what equipment do you have? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Buddy, you have everything you need to get out of the situation. I got you. Uh, okay, uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. I don't know why I asked that. Night. I know you're in the middle of the woods. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even 
even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Yeah, you probably messed up. Those dudes, whoever is out there, that thing. Uh, Marks. I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Uh, what directions are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Uh, let me check that for you. He said he was heading east. Where the heck are you? Next to a stream? Let me check one more time. I don't I don't want to get this guy killed. I don't know where you are. I can't read this. I don't I don't understand. Hey, go left. I'm sorry. I'm at a trail intersection now, go but left. <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Um you're welcome, but you're not out of the, the parks yet. Hope you reach back to the show safely. I'm right here! What? I hear you! What are you talking about? I hear your whistles. Oh, you're dead. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. Oh, you're, bro, you're tripping. I just told you that's not me, and you're still thinking that's me. That's not me, buddy. You're freaking me out. took you so long in there get away go away go away please actually i want you to stay here come inside come in <laughs> i'm inviting you in my house please come in i've been knocking for hours you've been knocking for hours you are a liar i was asked to check in on you what were you up to pal i was assisting a lost hiker at this hour may the lord have, be merciful <laughs> hey amen to that brother anyways Got your tower supplies here, just the usual uh, essentials. Could you stay here, if you, please, like just for a while? Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Uh, what were you doing there last night? Eh? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh Lord, <laughs> Lord mercy. <laughs> this guy's funny. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears, you said that before. You be careful out there, pal. There wo these woods aren't no more and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Or that would love to get a piece of you. I'm sure, I'm sure of that. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Not really. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? I'm, I'm mentioning the skull. Oh, Lord mercy. <laughs> Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I, can I take a, I don't even know how to pull out my camera. I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Thank you for the supplies. Hey, he's been facts. Hey, could you stay here, please? Please stay here. I'm begging you. Please. Billy? Billy, could you stay here just for a little bit? Get it up. Yeah. I don't need to do any reports, alright? That's that's good. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is good. Shut up, smiley face. Get my Coca-Cola. By the way, you guys are gonna hate me for this. It's called pop, not soda. I gotta close the boards. And then I'm going straight back to bed. Mm, I know it's good! 27 knots. We good, we good. We good, 27 knots. 56.5. Five. 27 knots. Zero. Serena. I wasn't sure if I had to put it in the right weather condition. Oh. Is it clear? Okay. Windy? It's windy. Okay. Alright, let's make this trip quick and spick. Shut that door. Let's make this trip quick and spick. There are people out here that want to eat me. Quick and You just gave me a freaking heart attack. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Okay. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy, everyone. If you like Halloween, then I've got a special brew for you. I can decorate our conversations with things like this. Alexa, stop. What the heck? That actually scared me. Alexa just turned on. Oh my, you gotta go off. I'm sorry. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas Yellow. I'm calling you yellow. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right messages reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Aw, oh, nah, bro. You tripping. <laughs> right. We rely information about fire sightings. Uh, hi, this is yeah. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. What? And no amount of... Prevention can stop them? What do you mean by that, buddy? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. That's true. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for land to purify itself. You sound completely weird. Can you go away? It's getting late. <laughs> Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember. How did you know, wait, hold on, how did you know my, my name was Jack? Did I tell him my name? I, I'm pretty sure I never even told you my name. Curiosity can leave places you'd rather not go. <laughs> Farewell, Jack. Saying my name twice is crazy. Next time you pull up on me like that, I got my Hydro Glock 99. Hey, he's awake. Yeah, hi. What time is it? Why are you still awake? Oh, never mind. That actually makes sense. Yeah. Why do I keep forgetting to put the... Perfect. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. You what? guy, you there? I'm the one who just put it in. Connor, I'm getting, I'm getting really pissed off at you, man. You're not being, you're not being very, Copy now. you're not being very GG right today. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? S Silas? The, the guy maintenance that nearby radio tower? The radio tower worker? Connor? Is this about yesterday? Connor, be for real. <laughs> Connor, be for real! What? You trying to yank my chain now? 
What? That radio tower has been out of service for ages now. Oh! Connor, bro, I'm telling you. closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its system. Connor, look, listen, I'm telling you. Connor, 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 you're gonna call me crazy. But I really did ran into a guy downstairs when I was grabbing my wood. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Bro! He knew my name? He knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. You, you don't say. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need anyways. Sure. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. You, did, you didn't report though. Yeah, Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, over and out. I'm not playing games tonight. I'm going straight to bed. There's just no way. No way. Connor, you just said that. There's no way I just met an imaginary friend downstairs. And my unease is starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that I was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I've seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. Honestly, I would not I would not think I'm crazy. I'd be like, bro, I'm right in my head. And there is no way that I'm I just really yeah, just no. I'm not crazy. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 PM. Uh, you got a minute? Uh, I'm gonna say. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. What? Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. What's the code? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology. It's not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Alright. What the? No, 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 no. I... That must have been the tree. I, I felt like I saw somebody run by. I don't know the password, though. What's the password? Please enter the update package code. Oh. C H K U P D. Three update sound of oh, car. What the heck is all this? Package code. Okay. Um. Update. Please enter the code. Yep, I see it. Four, three, four, sixty, eighty four. Package found. Looking for. Oh my goodness, what are all these? Okay. Hey! I knew it was gonna be one of the middle ones. Your system is now. That is the most scariest sound you could ever get. Where's my flashlight? Where's my flashlight? Where's my flashlight? Flashlight! Oh, here it is. Does that mean I have to go down? I have to go check on the generator, right? At all costs. It ran out of gas. Hey, just to put a little bit of smell out there so they so they know what's up. They're like, oh snap, we got bear spray. Run! Who those legs? Go back up. Wait, what? 
I'm just kidding. Got the pee. Brody. Buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we can aim that boy. <laughs> I have wood, right? Please tell me I have wood. Okay, it's time skip. Okay. One week later. Okay, so we've been actually chilling for a while. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. I mean, when you're by yourself. We got another one. Connor! What do you mean by that? I know it's late, but you're gonna wanna see this one, Jack. Somebody die? Jack? I'm Jack. here! I'm here! You need to wake up. You copy? I'm, I'm sleep deprived, right? <laughs> I'm up! Connor, I'm up. Oh, I forgot to turn my flashlight off. Connor, do you know what time it is? It's like midnight or something like that. Jack, you copy? Why are you still up? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Okay, that, that doesn't matter. You still gotta do a job. And now I'm seeing this. More smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. No. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Connor. See more smoke. It appears to be in your Connor, please don't make me do this. I'm just a fairy. Hello? You know what? <clears throat> I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'll let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. You're, you're Update tripping. me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Where's the fire, Connor? Connor, I don't see a fire. Oh. Oh, can I grab my binoculars? What if my binoculars are my camera? Nobody come up these stairs, please. Thank you. Hey, I'm trying to... Oh, this is a whole cult! I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Okay. This is a whole cold space to creature. Look at this! Look at the dude in the white and all black. Oh nah, this is crazy. <gasps> oh, they're moving. <laughs> Go in! Why are you staring? Go inside. Connor. I can't. I'm hiding. Oh, do you hear him coming up the stairs?
I can hear him breathing. I had to make a run. Grab my flashlight. I can't grab my flashlight. I'm dead! I'm dead! Oh, he's coming for me! I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm not turning around. I'm just gone. I'm just gone. Did I make it? Did I win? Oh my gosh, I'm still going. Yo, Billy! Billy! Oh my gosh, he's so close! Yeah! Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, just go, just go! Get, get out of the car! <laughs> As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest range cabin. Oh my gosh! Out of breath, I radioed and alert the HQ. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Yo, rip in the chat, like, actually. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered, you loser. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. I would too, I would never, if something like that, if a whole experience like that happened, I'm never, like, I'm not living in that state anymore. Like, I'm moving, I'm moving, like, far away from that state. Even though danger is everywhere, it doesn't matter. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. Which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a heaven a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I actually went camping, to be honest. Let's go! We made it home safe. We made it home safe. RB Radio Music. Yo, thanks, Neb, wherever you are. I appreciate it. Connor, voice actor, Dylan, Jacksepticeye, uh, PG, BGTV, what is that? What, PGTV, oh, they sound familiar now. Animations by Nat Vision and Joshua, Art, Assistant, uh, Chala, Pixel Art, hey, everybody, thank you, top donations, they'll be donators. Jacksepticeye is the only one I know at the bottom. A game by Rail Studio. I hope you guys become a big company, honestly. Like, you get to create, like, bigger games. Like, rated three triple A games and stuff. Well, guys, that was Fears of Fathom Iron Bar click out. I'm shaking, and I probably need to go uh, watch some, like, really peaceful YouTube videos because my anxiety has spiked in the air right now. Uh, remember, going camping 
alone is not such a good idea, honestly. And if you are going camping alone, you should probably carry that Hydro 99 pin. But this job, honestly, a job like this would seem like the best job in the world, honestly. Like, it just seems easy. But not only that, it does seem very, like, uneasy sometimes. Like, scary uneasy was what I mean. But please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, if you actually watched the whole thing. And even if you really don't like the video, can you just like it for me, please? And subscribe? Alright, see you guys later. I love trolling with the voice. I, I love doing that.